because I'm an absolute genius I forgot to press record the first time I did the intro this intro is getting recorded halfway through the work but shh, we don't know that and if you don't tell anyone, I won't so a mate of mine came to me not long after I started making videos and asked if I could make him a custom PC cabinet and I said yes because why not? So the specifications he had were that it had to be at least three shelves because he wanted to put not only a PC but consoles on it. It had to be big enough to accommodate a PC and consoles and had to have a decent amount of airflow through so that nothing overheated. So the design I came up with was a four tiered cabinet. The bottom part of every shelf having a laddered or rung design that it allow airflow through the bottom but still allow enough of a side panel that he asked me to spray paint my logo on the side so enough room to spray paint my logo on the side so building a custom pc cabinet jumping back to the past to watch what i've already done and then we'll be back for what i'm doing now which would make more sense then yeah All right, I need a rubber duck with the camera for a second. This shelf is going to have an open section at the bottom with some uh, bars on it, just to allow airflow through to the consoles and the PC. It's gonna look something like this. It's gonna look like that. So nice big holes, lots of air throw, airflow to come through. These are going to have a half lap joint It'll overlap with these, so it'll sit nice and flush on each side. This okay, yep, that's that's making sense in my head. I really hope it works. So I've just finished cutting all the sockets for the half laps. Still need to cut the uh, cut the bars into shape, but there is wood chips everywhere. And I completely forgot it, but if you're going to drink while you're working, make sure you put it into like a, a regular water bottle because if you leave it in a cup, it gets absolutely filthy. So I initially tried cutting these on the drop saw, but it didn't work out very well. So I'm going to try and do them by hand. I think we've worked out a lot cleaner and quicker. We'll do that for the rest of them. The bindings only sold me eight of these instead of the 24 that I wanted. I can now only do one at a time instead of three at a time. This is going to take forever. These are the uprights. These are the spine of the structure. And to attach to the rungs and to the plywood, they need tenon joints. So we need to mark out where the tenons go.
Soon enough. Now this is what it looks like when it's all put together. Well, obviously it's going to have panels in it, but that's the general gist. Now this is the moment that I can actually ruin absolutely everything I've done. Absolutely everything. This machine scares me. I don't like it. Oh, I don't want to do this. I well, didn't ruin this one, so I guess we're good to go from now. Oh my god, I hate that. Oops, the side panel's all routed in nicely. So now I'm going to give this bit here a spray paint because I have a feeling that once it's on the cabinet and assembled, it's going to be a bitch to get into these bits in here. So I'm going to spray this. This is a 450 section of 18 by 18 Tassie Oak, I think. But it's gonna form a shelf support. So I need another seven of these. back panel for the PC shelf. Now obviously it needs to run cords through this, so this big section needs to go. Drill. Easy done. Don't forget to always wear a respirator when working on MDF, or you will die. Now I just need to do the exact same thing to the backs of the console shelves. Now, I don't have sash clamps, or any clamps for that matter, but I've long enough to glue this. So I'm going to use the same rope trick, same rope trick that I used in the snake video with rope. If you haven't seen that trick, go watch the sneak video. It's apparently one of my better performing ones, so it must be good. This might take a while. I'm going to turn the camera off and then film it when I actually get this to work. So these are the spaces in the back. And these are the shelves. So these need to be drilled into these. That means pilot holes need to be drilled into these. So that's, that's what's happening. So coming in roughly 20 mil from the end. Pilot hole. And there we have a dry fitter as it is with holes in the back for ventilation.
thank Christ that is over. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy with how it turned out, but god damn, I'm never building anything like that again. The amount of things that almost went wrong the whole way through, I'm surprised there's not more holes in my garage wall from the tantrums I threw. But I delivered it to my mate yesterday, he's happy with it. He's, uh, he sent me some pictures of his before and after setup for his gaming. And I gotta say, it looks a lot better now. But I might be biased. Anyway, I'm glad it's over, finally, because that means I can get to other projects. There's a few welding videos coming up. Now, I like to think I put a lot of time and effort into these videos, and hopefully it shows. If it does, can you do me a favor? Hit that like button so I know I'm doing the right thing. If not, leave me a comment so I can do the right thing. And if you don't mind, please hit that subscribe button. If we hit 100 subscribers, I can get a URL that's easier to read rather than YouTube slash 0679 smiley face asterisk. Well, that's a lofty goal. Anyway, that's enough of what feels like e-begging, so um, I'm done. See you later.